In this video, we are going to see how we can deal with the purchase of any kind of fixed asset in Zoho. So right now we are entering day-to-day -day transactions just after implementing the software. That means we have already imported and created all the ledgers along with the opening balances. We have created customers with opening balances. Same goes for vendor and inventory. So that is the part of system implementation. And now we have considered that we have fully implemented Zoho and we can do all the day-to-day -day transactions. So the first day-to-day -day transaction is of 3rd January and it says purchase furniture by giving cash and it is of 10,000. So what we can do here is just pass a simple journal entry by debiting the furniture and crediting cash, but we wanna explore a special function in Zoho that is maintaining the fixed asset register. So not only it will allow you to do this debit and credit entry, but in future it will automatically recommend you the depreciation to be charged every month or every year, whatever you like, you can automatically pass the future entries based on that. So it's a very interesting feature. Let's explore this. First of all, you will find this feature on the left hand side in the accountant section if it is enabled. But right now, as we can see, there is no fixed asset. So we need to enable it from the top right corner in the gear icon. We just click here and click on the preferences and journal option. From here, we can see this fixed asset right here, but it is unchecked. That means it's not enabled. I will just select this and click on save. Just remember to save this. Otherwise, it will be not activated. So let's go back to the main screen. It might take some time or refresh this. And then you can move to the main screen by just clicking on the Zoho icon from the top left. And then we can click on accountant. And here we have a new feature called fixed asset. So if you want to manage the asset type, we can click here. There is no asset types selected. So we can create a new asset type. What this does is, for example, all kind of furniture and fixture depreciation should be charged in the same way. So furniture and fixture, let's say. Depreciating method could be declining method. Depreciation percentage could be, let's say, 10%. Depreciation frequency could be monthly. Asset life is, let's say, five years in terms of months, okay. Uh, let's make it 60 months. Computation date on a pro rata basis. Accumulated depreciation account, you can select that. Furniture and equipment, let's say. We can create a new account of accumulated depreciation, by the way. Uh, let's create a new account. Accumulated depreciation for furniture and fixture. Copy and paste that in description as well. Save and select. Depreciation expense account. Let's search for it. Depreciation expense is already there. So click save. Now, whatever we create as a fixed asset and we categorize it as this asset type, it will automatically uh, charge the depreciation based on this method. So let's go back. So once we are back after creating the asset type, we need to go in chart of accounts and here in chart of accounts, we either need to create a new fixed asset or we need to locate an existing one. So let me sort it from account type and let's see. So we have the furniture and equipment account right here. So we need to make a little setting here. Just click on this particular ledger and once it is open, just click on edit. And it is this option right here that we need to enable create item as fixed asset. When this account is associated with the line item in a transaction, create the item as a fixed asset. So I'll just check this up and you can select the asset type. We have already created that asset type of furniture and fixture. So not only it will link it to that asset type, it will automatically calculate the depreciation schedule based on that calculation, which we have mentioned in the asset type. So click save. Now let's create a bill. And for that, we can go to the purchases and click on bills and we can click new here. Select the vendor. Since we don't have the vendor name here, I'll uh, just choose a new vendor that is cash purchase. 
I'll just name it as cash purchases. Display name will be same and there is no opening balance and click on save. So cash purchases you can uh, give any bill reference number. Bill date is compulsory. So the bill date is 3rd of January. Due date is automatically set to due on receipt if you remember. The payment terms is shown right here as well. Subject you can mention any kind of subject here. But here's the main part. Now what I'll do is I'll just write here furniture. Press tab. It goes under furniture and equipment right here. And here in the amount or the rate, I'll just write here 10,000. This will make the total here. And this is the overall bill. Click on this one, save as open. Now let's go to this accountant tab and choose fixed asset to see whether the purchase is recorded in the fixed asset register or not. So even though we haven't created the item in the bill, we just mentioned the name of furniture and we simply linked it to the as a type of furniture and fixture. Still, it is able to pick it up in the fixed asset register. So I can go in here and if we want to still make any changes, we can click on edit and we can still uh, go to this area and make all the relevant adjustments. But let's just go back and just shift to depreciation schedule. Click on depreciation and here it is charging the depreciation every single month like this. So you can see that not only it is showing the summary of the depreciation, it is showing the depreciation flowchart and also the depreciation forecast for the future. And once you click on mark as active, the depreciation flowchart will be followed. That means it will automatically create the entries for you. So click on this one, mark asset as active. Click yes. So the amazing thing here is it will automatically charge the depreciation every single month. And not only it's showing the depreciation history here based on the dates. That means right now we entered the depreciation for the month of January. And since we are in May, it automatically reduced the value as you can see. And it has posted all of these journal entries. You can view that journal as well here in the depreciation history. So view journal, debit is depreciation expense and credit is accumulated depreciation for furniture and fixture. It, this is posted in the records. So that's cool. Now if we continue with our transaction, this furniture was purchased by giving cash. So that means there is a pending bill payment. I'll just go to the purchases and click on payments made. Go to unpaid bills. And this purchase is overdue by 163 days. Why it's showing overdue status? Because we have entered everything in January. We are considering that we are starting the new business or transferring the existing records from the previous software from January. But right now we are in May or June. So that's why it's showing the difference in the dates. So this unpaid bill should be paid. Now, if we have multiple bills to pay, we can select many bills and pay at the same time. But since this is a single bill, we can just simply click on this particular bill and click on record a payment. On the same date, we will pay for 10,000. No bank charges. Payment mode is cash. Payment date is 3rd of January. Payment through cash in hand. Reference, you can make any reference here. You can make any notes here and click on save as paid. Now this one is paid. You can click on payments made to see the summary of these. This is cash purchase, right? Open this up and you can click on this three dots and click on view journal to see the journal entry effect. Now the accounts payable was recorded first when the purchase of furniture was made. So that means at that time, furniture was debit and payable was credit. And at the second step, payable was debited, means payable is canceled out from debit to credit and cash is credit. So ultimately the entry would be purchase of furniture by giving cash. Furniture is debit, cash is credit. But at the same time, by following this whole method and booking it through bills, we have maintained the fixed asset register as well. So let's see the bills entry as well. Click on bills. There's no unpaid bill but we want to see all the bills. So click on this three dots, preferences. 
or otherwise we can go to vendors and click on cash purchases here we see the summary of all the transactions click on the transactions here and this is the bill if you want to check the journal entry effect of this particular bill we can view this bill click on the three dots and click on view journal it will scroll down and it will take you to this area furniture and equipment is debit and accounts payable is credit and on the second step accounts payable will be debited or settled off and cash is credit so ultimately the entry would be furniture to cash so this is how the complete system works and this is how you can basically effectively manage by using the proper functions in Zuhu for booking the fixed asset purchase. Just try this by yourself and I'll see you in the next one.